Hi everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here I hope you enjoy this vlog. Welcome to this week's Friday Sews um, where I talk to you about what I've been up to in the world of sewing and let you know what I'm going to be doing the week ahead. So first of all let's talk about what I'm wearing. I am wearing in one of my favourite colours green um, and excuse it's a bit creased the Fibre Mood I can't remember what it's called is it the Le Leona? Fibre Mood Leona sweatshirt that I got in my Little Miss Sew and Sew um, subscription box and absolutely love this and every time I put it on I think I need to make another one <laughs> okay so I if you want to check out my Little Miss Sew and Sew unboxing of this and the make and the pattern review I'll link up here um, to the vlog so this week I haven't actually done that much sewing I've got to confess but it's for very good reasons um, lots of exciting things that have been happening this week. So first of all, on Saturday last week, um, after I went to Slimming World, which I lost another pound and a half, so things are going in the right direction, um, I went out with um, my lovely friend Sarah from So Sarah Style, who lives just around the corner from me. We met up with the two Sallies, as I like to call them. Um, one of the Sallies is a, is a Staffordshire sewist on Instagram, um, so you can follow her if you want to. And I think the other Sally's account's private, so yeah. So yeah, we went for afternoon tea at a local cafe in Litchfield. It's called the Litchfield Pantry. Um, I've put my pictures on Instagram around it, but um, I'll insert some pictures up here so you can have a look. Oh, it was so nice. I wore my Sirocco because I just wanted something quite comfy. And it's my Sirocco that I made in my bargain £2.50 a metre um, spotty jersey um and oh god it's just so comfy perfect for eating lots of cake and this afternoon tea was absolutely amazing it was 15 pounds 95 and you'll see the pictures there was so much there um and yeah we just talked about life um sewing obviously um fabric oh just you know it's just so nice and the time just flew by and to be honest i didn't really want to leave um, so yeah that was just a fabulous fabulous time and the exciting thing is we talked about doing kind of a sewing workshop as well so or a sewing social so um, where Sally lives where one of the Sally's lives or the Staffordshire sewist lives she's got some rooms that she can it's like communal rooms that she can um, use free of charge so we're looking at hosting a monthly kind of social sewing gathering where you just bring your own machine um, very much like Tamlin does um, from Sewing on the Tyne, um, you know, you come along with your machine and you just get together with tea and coffee and you just sew together. Um, so we'll be looking at doing that quite soon actually, so we'll keep you posted on Instagram and on the channels um, and if you're local to the area then you might want to come along too. So that was that and then after that I had to go and pick up um, Alice's birthday cake and then also pick up um, her balloons for her party. It was Alice's birthday on Tuesday last week the 28th of Feb. She was three years old and um, yeah she had a gruffalo cake which I'll put a picture up of. It was gorgeous um, and also we had obviously all decorations and balloons and she had such a lovely time. She had a really nice party. She didn't understand that she couldn't eat the cake though on the Saturday and had to wait till the Sunday but anyway um so there was Alice's party um and that obviously took up a lot of time and planning and then obviously we had a birthday on the Tuesday now the one thing of so one piece of sewing that I did actually finish was the present for Alice so if you'll remember I purchased some of these once upon they were called once upon a time princess panels and they're basically big sheets of cotton panels with um printed princesses on them and a storybook and you cut them out and sewed them together and made this really adorable little set for them so i finished that and these are the little princesses and they have these lovely little dresses that are made with um a little tie there so she can take because kids love taking the clothes off dollies don't they so yes yeah, so there's these two princesses very very easy cut them out right sides together, sew round and then stuff them. That was the hardest piece actually, stuffing these little arms. But yeah, they are very, very cute, got little shoes and she loves them. And then the storybook is this kind of little um, bag, um, I would say, bag storybook. And there was a little rabbit here that goes in the front. He just sits in there. And then goes like, got obviously like um, the castle there as well. And then inside, just undo this, 
inside is a little kind of inside of the house and it's got this little um cute uh, wardrobe and then also this little uh, working bed um, and there is a pillow as well there's a little pillow here and obviously you can put the dollies in there or you can put this little um, unicorn in and this unicorn has also got a little skirt that I had to scrimmage around and find this because she had undressed the unicorn let's put his skirt back on so that was his little <laughs> skirt and he can go in there like that and yeah, she carries this, she loves a bag, Alice, so she just carries this bag around with her. So cute. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed making it, to be honest. It was much more labour intensive than I thought it was going to be. A lot of fiddly bits, a bit of hand sewing. Um, but what a gorgeous thing to be able to give to my little one and to remember that mummy made it for her. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, re I'm really proud of this. So this was my mate that I did this week. And that was by Moda. And I'll put the details of the links to the, the panels. And I have to thank um, Tiffany from Who's Your Handmade. She had purchased these for her little daughter and um, is a little bit younger than Alice. Um, and yeah, I saw that idea and I was like, oh, I have to have it. And I'm so glad I did. So thank you. So what else have I done this week? Now I have been doing some sewing, but it's predominantly one that I can't share with you. It's the My Little Miss So-and-So subscription box came this month um for february yeah for february and um it's a woven project so it's a little bit more labor intensive and i've been making that and been really enjoying it i'll keep looking over there because it's on the dummy um i've actually run out of thread though which is a bit annoying so i can't get it finished but anyway that will be coming to you next week that vlog and it looks so lovely so i can't wait to show it to you um i also film my so frugal vlog vlog yeah my so frugal blog so um, this is a challenge ran, ran by Sam from Frugalissima and Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl. They are um, hosting for the third year the Sew Frugal Challenge, which is basically make a free pattern with fabric in your stash. So I was um, la last in the run-in last year, um, uh, but this year I was keen to go quite early on. So I did mine all about children's patterns and if you want to check out my vlog I will link it up here so you can check that out and also at the end I'll link to my previous year's vlog which wasn't about children's patterns that was about adult patterns. Okay so that is what I've been doing this week so yeah sorry that there's not much there for you but it's just been a very busy week and I was in the office two days which oh god wiped me out I literally don't know how I would have gone back to going in the office full time because oh, I'm so used to working from home now it's just unbelievable so that always slows my sewing down because I usually get two hours a day that I don't have to commute that I basically sew on so yeah okay so what am I going to be doing this week well I have big plans this week first of all I want to fill my March plans I have struggled with my March plans really I don't really know what I want to sew um so it's took me a while to kind of sit down and think about it and I think I want to be much more I want to be I don't want to give myself too much I think I had a right amount last month and this month I might even reduce it down a little bit more because I really want to get my fabric sorted that's kind of I was halfway through documenting them all and it's kind of slowed down and I think I need to take a leaf out of Michelle the sewing bunnies um book and just hold off sewing a little bit go a bit slower this is my method at work as well go a bit slower so you can go a lot faster later and I think that is the key the reason why I don't really feel like I know what I want to make is because I don't know what I've got patterns or fabric wise so the sooner I can spend the time doing that in March and not make as much means hopefully as the month goes by I can get faster so that's the plan anyway also other exciting things tomorrow is Saturday and I, you might already know this, um, because some of the other people have shared about it. Tomorrow, I, me and Sarah, and um, from Sarah so, so Sarah Style, are going to Birmingham. We're going to the Ball Ring, and we're going to Guthrie and Garney. Eek! I'm so excited. And we're meeting up with some other sewing vloggers, and you guessed it, it's going to be Tamlin from Sewing the Time. So excited. Rachel from Stitched Up. Very very excited about that too. Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl, who I love. Helen from Stitch Rich Repeat, who I talk to quite a lot because we're both on our sewing, sewing slimming world journey as well. We've both frustrated because we've got clothes in our wardrobe that we can't wear and we want to get rid of that weight that we've put on. 
And then the lovely Angela from Devon, Devonshire Thread Tales, who I have met already, met her at the Dressmakers Ball, and she is lovely. So yeah, we are going out, we're meeting them at Guthrie at Garney, and um, then we are obviously gonna probably buy some fabric then we're gonna go for lunch and then we're gonna go to the rag market so it's i can't wait i'm so excited and the really scary thing is i just found out what my bonus is going to be at work so i know i've got a little bit of money to spend <laughs> but i can't go mad so yeah that is going to be really really exciting and i can't wait so that is like the big thing that i'm obsessing about for tomorrow don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I wanted to wear this dress that I've been making this week, but because I've run out of thread, I'm not going to be able to finish it. So it'll have to be something I've already worn before, but that's okay. Um, so what sewing am I going to be doing this week? Well, I'm going to finish off my um, Little Miss So-and-So project that needs to get done and filmed next week. The other thing that I need to do is trace out a few patterns. There's a few patterns that I want to make and there's um, a particular pattern in the Fibre Mood magazine that called the Leona dress that I want to make. So I want to get that pattern traced off um, and add the seam allowance onto it because I've got the I haven't got the PDF. I've got the electron. I've got the paper pattern, and you need to trace it very much like the Tilly and the Buttons book. You need to trace it. It's layered on top of other pattern pieces for the other patterns, and you need to add the seam allowance. So I want to do that. I'll insert a picture of the low owner dress. It's a really geometric kind of 80s vibe dress. I just love it. Um, this is going to be a bit of a twirl because what I do want to do eventually is make, I saw on Instagram, a denim, I think it might, be, it might not have been denim, but I want to do it in a black denim with a camel kind of pleather, kind of... Um, get up so like um half fit in one fabric or half fit in the other so i want to do a 12 first before i sew into like pleather because pleather once you put a needle mark in it there's no no going back is there so yeah i want to make a 12 first and then do it in this. i also have printed out the billy pattern again because i've got that pattern but it's in a small i've cut it out in a smaller size um and i've obviously put on a bit of weight so i want to make a, a just a plain black very plain black billy sweatshirt this week um and I've got this really, really cute trim that I want to put on it. So let me just grab it. So this is my, I've got just got this very um, plain black French terry that was very, very cheap. Um, I got, um, I can't even remember where I got it from um, when I first started sewing. But it's good quality and I've got some black ribbon that I'm going to use for the ribbon. But Sarah won this in a raffle when we went to the afternoon tea with the sewing studio in Tamworth. And social studio in Tamworth and it's this gorgeous let me just get it to focus got, got sparkles in it and it's just really cute so I'm thinking on the sleeves or around the neck I haven't decided yet that would look just elevated a little bit so maybe round depending on what sleeve I do around this part and around the neck I don't know but I've got quite a lot of that so yeah I want to use that trim up so that's definitely one of the things that I want to make this week now the other thing that I can't get out of my head while we're on the, the sort of topic of the Billy sweatshirt is this. So this is my last Little Miss So-and-So make. And oh God, why can I think of what, that's called the Ruby, the Ruby. Can't think today. This was my Ruby dress, sweater dress, my fiber mood that I shared about I wasn't sure about the arms. It's a drop sleeve with a puff and a gather, and it doesn't work. And everybody that's made this dress, that's done a vlog on it, has said the same thing. They've either changed it, or they want to change it. So, there's two options open to me, and I'm going to try both of them. The first one is to cut off this sleeve, or take off the sleeve, and turn this sleeve into a non-gathered sleeve. So a straight cut sleeve. I'm, I'm going to pop that back on or baste it back on and see if that makes a difference because that will be the simplest change. I won't have to worry about um, cutting out a new sleeve then because this will be the right length. I still don't think that will work. I still think I'll make me feel too broad. The other option which I know will work is reduce the width of the shoulder. So make it more that it finishes here and then cut out a new sleeve. I'm going to have to cut out a new sleeve. Um unless I can do something three-quarter length with this existing one because by raising that up 
it makes the cuff too short makes the sleeve too short so and I haven't got enough ribbon to cut perhaps a longer um, cuff so yeah I can't get out of my head I need to change this because I love the fabric I've got some extra fabric to cut a new sleeve out so um, if I do need to go though that option I can do and I just need to rectify this it's playing on my mind I want to wear it and yeah I need to change it even if I changed it into a sweater later on I've got to rectify the sleeve so yeah that is definitely happening so I'm going to cut out the billy sleeve billy bodice again in the right size and alter this to reflect that okay so that's everything in respect of my plans two other things I also wanted to mention on my channel in March I am going to the creative craft show I had it for a birthday present off my friend and I'm going with Sarah from So Sarah Style we're going on the 17th of March which is the Saturday so if you're going let me know um if you're there and I have a lot of people messaging me saying I saw you but I didn't want to come up to you please 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 come up to me and just say hello I watch your channel honestly I love it when you do that because it just means so much and um yeah it's great to chat to you in person um the other show that I'm going to and I feel quite bad because I've kind of invited myself <laughs> um I am uh, my friend's Claire Stitch Hem So she won tickets to the Stitch Festival and I was holding out because I've been entering competitions left, right and centre because I had plans to go because I, um, when I went to the Dressmakers Ball, I got on so well with Michelle from Sewing Bunny and her friend Katie, who's what Katie sews. And um, we've stayed in touch, um, myself and Katie, and she and, her, and Michelle are going on the Saturday. I think it might be the 26th, whatever that last weekend in March is. And she's going on the Saturday and um, she said oh do you want to come along it'd be nice and I was like well yeah that's great haven't got a ticket yet and um, so I was holding off to win one but wasn't lucky enough to win one so I was gonna bite the bullet and buy one and then Claire won it so I said to her Claire are you going and she was like well actually I might as well and I said can I come so I kind of invited myself so sorry Claire for that it's a little bit rude but um yeah so we are going to go um together she's going on the train I'm going on the train meet up in London um and then go to, I think it's at the Business Design Centre or something. But yeah, and then meet um, Michelle and Katie and have a wonderful, wonderful day. So again, if you are going to that, let me know. I really, really need not to buy any fabric. Um, because, yeah, I have this stash quite a lot. But with the D stash, becomes the permission to buy more, doesn't it? Anyway, there we go. So, last but not least, least, I have a little mini fabric haul for you. So... I've purchased fabric from two stores. Now I blame Minerva because Minerva had a 30% off sale. So that's really tempting, isn't it? And I think it was off all fabrics. Anyway, I've had my eye on their um, exclusive viscose chalets for quite a while. And I to bit the bullet and decided to go for this one that I'd had my eye on. And I got three metres of it. And I absolutely love it. Now, I was a bit gutted, actually, because it's on a Visco Chalet base, which is lovely. But then, straight after that sale, they brought out their linen range. Um, so that would have been nice. Oh, it might be a linen viscose range. But anyway, I love this anyway, and it's great. So this is the fabric I got. I think it's £15.99 a metre, isn't it? But look at that. Oranges. I'm very predictable. Oranges, greens, browns leopard print and leaves everything i love in a pattern there boom right so love it i got three meters um initially i thought palazzo pants but now i'm thinking a dress but now i don't really know i just love it so one of the things i've learned from going through my stash is if you don't know what you're going to make you need to buy three meters so if i can't afford three meters and i don't know what i'm going to make i'm not buying it so yeah love that and then my next haul is from Pound Fabrics, which is one of my favourites. And the first couple of fabrics that I got, I purchased because, for two reasons. I've had my eye on them for ages. And second of all, they were so cheap. Right, so these fabrics were one ninety five a metre. Yes, one ninety five a metre. And they are cotton. They're 100% cotton, not polycotton. So, I ordered, because it is a narrow fabric five meters of this and i want to make the kiki dress by fiber mood in this because i want to do it 
but it takes a lot of fabric it takes four meters so hence why i've purchased five of this and obviously in a non-cheap fabric it's a lot to invest in the inner dress so this is the fabric <laughs> no it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea but it's my cup of tea and it's got these lovely tigers on it with like an aztec print beautiful absolutely stunning i love it so i've got five meters of this and cost me 9.75 brilliant very happy and i did that age old thing they had it in a different colorway but i didn't get five meters of this i'm thinking a shirt for this they had it in cream so i just couldn't resist i had to have it in cream as well so three meters of that cost 5.85 i mean you can't moan can you for that and it's lovely quality lovely lovely and soft so yeah they are my tigers love them so those are those i then purchased a meter of a light navy um uh jersey now this was eight pound fifty for a meter not the cheapest not the most expensive but good quality now i have navy um jersey but i wanted a lighter navy to go with the fabric that i got in um my last so Hayley Jane, which was a Lady McElroy brush cotton, and I want to make pajama bottoms and have um, a vest top to go or a t shirt top to go with it. And the blue in it's quite light, so I wanted to want something to match, and I think this is going to be a, a match for it. So that was just to make a Tabitha tee or some kind of t shirt to go with those pajamas when I make that. So that was my mini fabric haul. Obviously, I cannot imagine I will go tomorrow and not buy any fabric. So yeah. I want to try and be restrained. The only shop I want to buy any fabric from. Oh, I've just been off put by a squirrel. The only shop I want to buy any fabric from is going to be Barry's. I want to try and not buy anything else and only buy something that I love. Hmm. We'll see how I get on with that okay that's all from me for now if you've enjoyed this please click the like button if you don't subscribe please subscribe um consider subscribing and um if you want to support my channel further then please um head over to my ko-fi account where you can buy me a coffee and show your support that way so i hope you've enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you all soon happy sewing bye